Hello and welcome, my name is Hayden Falzon from FalzonFantasy.com and today we're going to be looking at how to render out a movie file that takes into account the alpha channel, such as this one. To demonstrate this, I'm going to load in my Earth model that I've created in my Earth for EV tutorial series. If you'd like to watch that, it will be on my channel page and a link will be in the description. Our first step is to ensure that our background is rendered as transparent. So navigating to our render tab we're going to then navigate down where until we see film and then there will be a option called alpha and we're going to change that from sky to transparent and what that's going to ensure is that the world background will just be rendered as transparent so when i render this out now we'll see that well it's done exactly what it said we now have a alpha background now my model works best with a dark environment, so I'm just going to change that just to show you the difference it makes. And now I'll render it out, looking much more Earth-like. So let us continue. Now to ensure that our alpha is rendered in our output, we're going to navigate to our output tab, and we're going to change our output file format. So by default, my file format is set to PNG. I'm going to now set it to FFmpeg video, as this will give us our container and video codec options. You may have also noticed that when I changed from PNG to FFmpeg video, our color outputs were limited. We now only have black and white and red, green, blue. We do not have red, green, blue and alpha. Now, if I check down this encoding drop down menu, we'll see that we have a container and a video codec option. The container is, well, it is relevant, but it isn't relevant to saving our alpha. What is relevant is the video codec. So if I scroll through the video codec now, you'll see that some will have RGBA options available to them. See, that one there, that one's got an RGBA. So the A stands for alpha, and that's, they are the codecs that we are looking for. So as I keep on scrolling through, you'll see that only a few of them have this option of available to them. Now, please, please don't just pick any random container and any random video codec that has the alpha available to it. This will most likely result in a file that, well, it's pretty unusable by most softwares. We wanna create a usable file format that is usable by editing software, say for example. So the container that we're going to select is the QuickTime container. And the video codec that we're going to use with our QuickTime container is our QT animation, so QuickTime animation. And as you can see, that has the RGBA values. And we want to make sure that that is checked, not RGB, not black and white, RGBA. Now these other options down here, we don't really have to worry about them too much for this tutorial. You can play with them if you want, but it's just affecting the overall quality of the file that you're going to create. Now with that all set up, we want to save it in a directory. So we can press this button here and save it to a directory of our choosing. After that, we're going to navigate to the render menu and press render animation. We can also press control function 12. Now that is going to render our movie file with our alpha channel. So yay, we're done. But before you go, please, please listen to this important information. You do not want to use this for, well, most things in Blender. When rendering a scene out of Blender, it is always best to render as an image sequence. Because if your render fails, for whatever reason, if the power goes out or if your computer crashes or whatever, and you're rendering a scene that takes minutes per frame, well, that video file, that's corrupt. You're not going to have any use of it. It doesn't even matter if it's got a few more frames to go. So just for your own sake, please render all your animations as a PNG or TIFF sequence or some, some sort of other image sequence, because that way you won't lose a lot of information if the worst happens. 
what this is good for is if you have already pre-baked or pre-rendered elements that you want to just quickly create a movie file out of and you want to include an alpha. Sure, use it. But for everything else, please just render it as a PNG or TIFF sequence. And with that, that brings us to the end of this tutorial. But before we end, I would like to make you all aware that my website tutorial section is up and running and it just makes it a lot easier to navigate um, the categories. So you can pick Blender 2.8, Blender 2.79, Music, World Machine, whatever. And as we go on and create more tutorials for different softwares, I'll be sure to add more categories. There is a phone version and a desktop version to this site. So uh, it should make navigating very easy even on your phone. So feel free to check that out if you would. So if you've liked this tutorial and have learned something, please hit that like button. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that bell button. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Hayden Falzon from FalzonFantasy.com, signing off.